What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today we are talking about my 2020 plant plans. Well, you know that I am constantly telling you guys to follow Scott from Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. He's got tons of fun ideas to do here on YouTube. Obviously the Christmas collab was such a fun idea and we had such a good time. So Scott's also put together some questions for us to talk about our planty plans for 2020 which is really convenient for me because I needed uh, some content besides what I had planned this week because what I had planned didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the first question is what was one of my plant successes? I'm gonna say that my increasing plant collection sort of put me in a place where I was finally able after gosh, probably four years of living in this apartment to really look at this apartment as a permanent place to live. Not forever, obviously, but um, once I moved in here and realized how many problems the apartment had and, you know, at the time, like just the living situation here was miserable, um, it's much better now. But when I first moved here, I mean, the place was just so run down that it really bummed me out and it was hard for me to get excited about making it look nice because, I didn't have money to, you know, renovate the whole place, which is basically what it needs. For a long time, I didn't put a lot of effort into the decor of the house, but when I started getting all these plants and I started making my little plant corners, that just ignited a fury in me that it just could not be satisfied until my apartment was aesthetic as fuck. We are far from where I want to be. Interior decorating is actually something I used to be super passionate about. I really wanted to go to school for it like years back. It is something that I'm super into. So I've been trying to like work with this apartment and with the furniture that I have and then the plants. And because of the sheer volume of plants and because of all of their different care needs, I've really had to put a lot of effort into how I redid the house. And I think that because I put so much time and effort into thinking about the plants when I was rearranging, not only have I made a more beautiful environment to exist in, but I've also made it better for my plants. And I've made it so that I can have, you know, a hundred and what <laughs> We don't need to talk about it. Uh, a lot of plants. It's fine to have a lot of plants because I have them all sort of grouped in a certain way. I have them all in spaces. I'm also slowly installing grow lights into darker areas in my home so that I'm able to care for more plants without the plants languishing. So I think my biggest planty victory besides keeping, you know, well over a hundred plants alive at all times um, would definitely be that I have turned my home into a environment that is friendly for plants and that took a lot of work <laughs> i also kept a fern alive for an entire year it's under glass and it's never coming out <laughs> ferns if you count my bird's nest fern actually i have a staghorn fern too that's three ferns i kept three ferns alive i don't care if they're the easy ones shut up next question what would you like to learn in 2020? I would say, firstly, to be more succinct. Secondly, plant related. This year, I really want to dive a lot harder into straight up botany. I want to know what I'm talking about. I want to understand plants. I have a stack of books right behind this camera here um, that I am working my way through. And I really just want to dive into plants. I want to know the outdoor plants as well as the indoor plants. And specifically, I want to focus on turning my yard um, and my outdoor environment here into a really um, hospitable environment for pollinators, for animals. And I also want to grow a vegetable garden. So I have a lot of plant related goals this year. And the ones that involve my house plants would just be to continue to make the best possible environments that I can for my plants. I would like to have somewhat of an indoor greenhouse. I would also like to have one room that is really designated for the more humidity loving plants. Right now that's my bathroom, but my bathroom really needs to be redone. So I have a feeling I'm gonna need a different place for them soon. But yeah, I just really, I want to know a lot more about plants on a scientific level, on just an educational level, and then I wanna be able to relay that information to you guys in a fun and digestible manner because I know not everybody is super into diving into textbooks for fun. So question number three is, what is something I am excited about? 
that is definitely the outdoor garden. I, I would love to tell you a house plant reason is, I know that is what you guys are the most into, um, but I would say that um, planting wise, getting my outdoor space going is really exciting to me. I did a container garden last year. I did do a couple videos about it. Um, so those are on my channel if you're curious, but I have an entire lot next door that is just empty and it is just ready for a wildflower garden, for a vegetable garden. I can't wait guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know what order the videos will be going up in, but I actually unboxed all of these beautiful native plant seeds from my friend Sarah um, today. So that's like, oh, oh, I just can't wait. And a bunch of them say plant now. So I think that yeah, I gotta do that. The next question is what is something I am worried about in 2020? And for me right now, that is 100% getting these plants through the winter. Um, they are just all, they're all alive. I would say nothing is really dying, but everything looks so sad. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff really looks sad. Right now, my peak concerns are getting everything through the winter. And I have quite a few that are you know, they're not the rare plants, but they're they're difficult to find and I'm trying not to kill them. So I am definitely um, hovering over quite a few plants as well as trying to keep up with my watering has become very difficult with um, the addition of homeschool into our life because my mornings are no longer leisurely. <laughs> so because we're doing homeschool now, I don't have that like meditative 45 minutes every morning to just like walk around in water like I used to after I dropped my son off. Um, so I just need to adjust my morning routine a little bit and then I think things will be fine. But right now I'm struggling a little bit. We're struggling. What is a plant that I would like to get in 2020? Ooh, so many. I'm tired of not having a variegated Monstera. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. I'm, I'm sick of it and I would like one. That's it. So I have quite a sizable wish list that I am waiting to put up until springtime because you guys are so awesome that whenever I talk about my wish list, everybody starts lobbing plants at me and I can't even take them right now because it's cold. Mm. What? Hi. What's up? Are you a handsome boy? I am a little bit fascinated with the Hoya Obscura because it's so obscure. And I would definitely love to get my hands on that this year. I think I just like need to have it. Um, I'll probably kill it, but you know, I really would like to try not to. What is something I must do in 2020? Uh, restrain myself. In 2020, I really must focus on caring for the plants that I have. I want to make sure that before I go out plant shopping, because I know that I will, I do enjoy going out for like a day and skipping around nurseries and having a good time. Um, so I know that I will do that this year. So my conditions for purchasing new plants this year under my um, reframed state of mind in acquiring plants is that I should know what I'm getting. Um, and that doesn't mean that if I see something amazing I've never seen before that I'm gonna just be like, nope, I don't know what it is, so I'm not gonna buy it, but I will at least Google it at the store. Right, yeah. And um, I definitely wanna make sure that I have the space, that I have the pots or money to get a pot, and that I have the correct environment for that plant. So I'm just going to be more mindful about my plant purchases this year. And um, that kind of rolls into the wanting to expand my education about plants, because if I know a lot more about the plants that I have, as well as other plants, then I'll be able to make more educated guesses at the nursery. And uh, I like to be a gold star student. So yes, yes. And the last question is a good one because I have a lot of stuff I want to tell you guys and uh, Scott gave me a great in for it. So let me tease you about a few things. The next question, the last question is what is something your subs can look forward to in 2020? So there are a few things that I do want to tease you guys about just a little bit. So I am in the process of booking quite a few interviews and tours and I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to try to get some more mobile equipment so that I can take a good audio and video on the go and I'm going to take you guys out to meet some planty people and that's going to range from houseplant people um, to people who are members of like houseplant societies and clubs. Um, I have something in the works that I need to actually email 
the person and get on that. Um, but that is going to be excellent when we do get around to it. She also has a stunning glass house that I can't wait to show you. And I'm also going to take you around to some of the local nurseries here. I want to interview people about conservation, about native plants, about the plant industry, about growing plants. I also have a friend who works in Ayurvedic medicine and we're going to interview her and talk to her about her relationship with plants. I am so excited. So stay tuned for that coming in 2020. The second thing that I want to tease you guys about that I am in the process of putting together is a Northeast meetup. So I have noticed that there are a ton of us in the Northeast, you know, from Maine all the way down to like Pennsylvania. And I think that we could possibly put something together where a lot of us could get together. I'm hoping. So if that is something you'd be interested in, if you're able to get to the Northeast, if you live in the Northeast, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll keep you in mind when we're planning. And of course, I will always update you guys on anything that I put together in the future. And the final thing I wanna tease you about, and it's the teasiest little tease, this little tease because I haven't gotten the corrected sample in yet, but. So we have very exciting things coming up on this channel and I am so pumped for 2020. I know I said it in the last video, but thank you guys so much for being on this crazy ride with me. Thank you for your comments, your support, your likes, your shares. I saw that like last month, like 40 something people shared my videos on social media. That's crazy. I don't even ask you guys to do that and you did it anyway. Love you. You guys are awesome. So thank you to Scott for coming up with this great tag. And if you guys want to do this tag, please do. I'm gonna put the questions down in the description box and I'm also gonna tag a few people to participate. So I'm also going to tag some people to participate. And if you're not subscribed to any of these people, you should check them out. A lot of them are newer YouTubers. I'm first gonna tag Car Ramrod. So I'm gonna tag Jacqueline's Jungle. Go ahead and tell me what your 2020 plant plans are. I'm gonna tag Thick Potter. I'm gonna tag graceful plants. I'm tagging peaceful planting. And I'm gonna tag Plantastica to give us a superhero point of view. I can't wait to hear what you guys' plans are. If you do end up doing this video, let me know down below. And of course, go check out Scott's channel over at Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. I will have his link down below as well. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will catch you in the next one. <gasps> Say bye, Jackie. Bye. Will Harley G buy? Ready? Bye! He's gonna shit in my shoes later. Bye.